this is Smashbro51 with another YouTube video. This is how to use Google Earth as a flight simulator. Ooh. This works with, well actually I don't know what versions, but I know it works with the newest version. We'll first go to Google Earth, obviously. I'm just somewhere random. And actually this looks like a nice area. Um, what you do is you hit, um, click and hold, control, alt, and you think I'm gonna say delete, but no, it's control alt A, and you can choose F16 or the SR22. I choose the F16; it's better. You can choose an airport, but I usually do um, current view. And in places like New York or Chicago, you can use 3D buildings and fly through the buildings. That's kind of ridiculous. Um, but yeah, and see the joystick enabled. I recommend using that. The keyboard's kind of hard. Um, so plug in a joystick or even the Xbox 360 controller if you have the right software. You can plug in the Xbox 360 controller and use it on this. Um, so hit start flight. Right now I'm using the keypads on here. In the description I will post all the controls and those kind of stuff. That kind of stuff. So this will be easier. And by the way, if, when you go into an ocean, it, the plane doubles as a submarine. Only an ocean, not lakes or rivers, but if you go into an ocean, the plane doubles as a submarine. Um, and you can land it, and it, uh, that'll be in the description. And so, that is my video.